Hi, I'm Dick Whittington. I'm the project advisor for the Community and Social Enterprise Programme in the West of England area. And uh, we're at Yatton Station, home of the Strawberry Lion Cafe. The Strawberry Lion Cafe was opened to take advantage of the Strawberry Lion Trail. One of the important um, points about the project is the way it's brought back into use a part of the railway heritage. Old buildings on the down platform which have been revitalised as a, as a cafe um, and made it a really appealing part of local railway history. The cafe's done really well, it um, is doing better than break even, but the board of directors wants to develop it and they've got some ideas for the future, uh, taking advantage of the cycleway by introducing a cycle hire business, taking advantage of the railway heritage and working with people with learning difficulties to help them get a better start in life. We've got six employees here and three of those six employees have learning disabilities so that's half of our workforce. Um, that is quite a unique situation so all our non-supervisory posts are filled by people with learning disabilities. Uh, we don't receive any grant funding or agency funding or government, local government payouts for these people. They are paid out of the money that the business generates from the till and that is an enormous achievement that we're desperately, desperately proud of. We probably don't talk about that enough to be honest with you. It can be quite pressured. People want things in a hurry if they are getting on the train. Uh, people want things to a standard, to a quality, and we expect our guys to work like that. And they work one-on-one -on -one with a supervisor, and the supervisor is, is someone we've recruited for their catering background, not someone we've recruited because they're a care worker. So they're working alongside normal members of the community, which gives them a really great opportunity when they then go out and, and start looking for, for jobs. I live about halfway down the Strawberry Line towards Cheddar and I'm a regular Strawberry Line rider. It's, it's a great throughput really between Cheddar and, and I go as far as Clevedon. It's traffic free and I didn't have a cafe until, uh, until this one opened up and I'm a, I come in here regularly. Well I live very, very locally um, and I started as a volunteer doing the handyman duties that they needed someone to put pictures up and do things like that. Um, and then after a while I realised there was scope for an extra hand in the kitchen so the cafe paid for me to do a food safety um, course um, and now I help out here. The, the busiest time is, is summers, summer weekends because of the traffic from the strawberry line, um, Sundays especially, um, 10 or 15 cyclists may pop in at one go and that causes everyone to be on their toes. The typical comment is that the, the warmth they receive when they come in and the quality of the food and the promise that they'll return. I mean, for me this has been a tremendous project, it was a lot of hard work from some very committed people from the start um, but we're seeing real success and you can just see talking to the people using the cafe how much they appreciate the service and what it means to the, uh, to the village of Yatton. It is a very special place and you come in and you walk through the door and I'm always really proud of the guys who have learning disabilities and, and how far they've come on. One of the things for me was that I've only recently started working, getting involved in the kitchen here because it gives me a better idea of how the business operates and, and, and what the pressures are on it to come and jump in the kitchen. And I worked a shift with our, our young lady, Lucy, who's just finished her MVQ2 with us here. We got to a couple of hours in, into the day and I realised that Lucy was saying to me, no, you don't do the coffee like that. You've got to hold the jug lower down the steamer. You've got to wipe the steamer afterwards because it dries on the funnel. And, and I hadn't sort of noticed. It happened so naturally that I hadn't noticed. And then I said, wow, Lucy, you're teaching me. And she just beamed. It was really lovely for her to feel that she could actually impart something to someone else. Thank you.